Now we wait. We've got the whole gang out here. There we go. Positive, positive. These are faint lines, but they're still positive. Um, a bitch has a Marianne crumb. Marianne. I caught COVID. I have not had COVID the whole fucking time the pandemic has gone on. And the universe said, you know what, babe? You're going to get it for New Year's Eve. New Year knew me it's new year's eve today i found out i had covid yesterday well actually i'll tell you what happened so what happened was yesterday i found out my auntie had tested positive for covid she's been doing a test every day um and because she works for the nhs and um i was with her on boxing day so then yesterday morning i woke up and was like i had a teensy bit of a stuffy nose and a sore throat and i was like oh this isn't good. I'm going to have to do a test. So I did a test. I basically had a private test um, because I had one spare from when I went to Amsterdam in November. So I did that test first. That one came back positive right away. And I was like, shit. So I was like, let me do another test just, you know, just to ensure. Um, did two, I did an NHS test. That came back as negative. But So I was like, what? I was like, I think it's very difficult to get a false positive. So I was like, this is weird. Then I did another NHS test. By the way, I only had three lateral flows left. Three NHS ones and then the, the private one. I'm looking up there because it was living there before. Um, <laughs> so I only had three left and I was like, shit, I'm going to need some more. And it's really hard to get lateral flows at the moment. Anyway, long story short, my mum sent me some in the post because my dad gets um, has lateral flows because he has poor health. So I did my other two NHS ones. And they both came back as negative. Well, what looked negative, right? They were, in fact, let me go get the test. Me and all the girls. This was the first one I did. Very clear positives. Not me showing it like a beauty tutorial. Very clear positives here. Okay. Then the next two that I did look like this. So it looks like one line, right? But if you look really close, there, you might not be able to tell in this lighting, but there's a faint line. Oh shit, I'm fucking dropping it. There is a faint positive line on the T. Very, very, very faint, but there is a line. And that does mean you are positive. So I was still kind of confused. I was like, do I have it? Don't have it? Do I have it? Don't have it? So I stayed in the house yesterday anyway. And I said to myself, when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm going to do another test. Like, and whatever that says, that's the answer. So, um, and I was like, I'm going to do my last lateral flow tomorrow, which was this morning. Woke up... And you know what? I just knew, you know when you know yourself and you know your body? Last night, I started feeling super tired. Like nine o'clock, I was exhausted. And I'd done nothing all day except lay on the sofa and watch Emily in Paris. So I was like, this is weird. Then when I woke up this morning, I knew I was ill because you can hear it in my voice a little bit. Like my throat's a little bit sore. I got a bit of a sniffly nose. But the main thing is like, I've just had a headache and I just feel a bit weary and just tired. Anyway, I did my test this morning that and look at the positive line it is so thick oh my god so a bitch has covid for new year's eve i was supposed to go out tonight i usually don't go out on new year's eve because not that i hate new year's eve but it's just stress to me like you have to get there really early you can't get a taxi it's cold so you're freezing your tits off outside um mainly things like that i was actually gonna go out this year for the first time in like five years um, so I was going to go to Liverpool with my friends. I already literally bought, I bought like five new outfits that I could try that has sat on the floor over there. But I haven't even tried them on yet, but we'll do a little, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a little try on haul for you. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to go to Liverpool, paid for the table. Like, we, cause I, you know what guys, this might sound bougie to some of you. I do not go to a club anymore unless I have a table to set up because it's a no from me. My heels hurt. I want alcohol. I don't want to go to the bar table. So yeah so yeah as of right now I just have a bit of a headache i might take some paracetamol because i'm just feeling a bit like Ugh. hopefully it's not going to get too too bad i am double vaccinated i don't have my booster i was supposed to get that and obviously i haven't over the christmas period i was gonna i was actually booked in to get it on monday or tuesday um but obviously can't do that now so i'm going to reschedule it to the week after i'm supposed to go to miami on the 17th of january and i'm really scared now because although i won't have covid by that and like the i think i can test because i started yesterday with symptoms i think i can do a test next wednesday no next tuesday and next wednesday so day six and seven and if you're negative on both of them days you get let out of isolation if not you do a 10-day isolation which means i'll be out by next sunday 
which will be, I don't know what date that will be. Basically, I'm worried about Miami because although I won't have COVID by then, it might still show up on a PCR. You can still show up for being positive for COVID on a PCR test, even when you don't have it, because you've obviously had it and it's still somewhat in your system. That is what I'm very nervous about because obviously I'm going to Miami and you do have to do a test before you go to America. I'm terrified if my whole holiday gets cancelled, but I do have holiday insurance that I bought a few days ago. So hopefully that will be fine. I, mean, I really just want to get away though from England. Like I'm ready to like just be chilling. I'm actually going to Miami with my two aunties. Um, I'm going to talk as if it's still happening. Positive, positive words. So one of my aunties, the one that got COVID, I'm going with her. So I'm going with her. These are my dad's two sisters. They don't have any children. So it's like, they're like, not that having children isn't cool, but you know, like, like your cool aunties. <laughs> Basically I'm going away with them. Um, and we were just gonna go um my auntie one of my aunties lost her husband a few years ago so she likes to go away with her sister a lot which is my other auntie and i'm tagging along on this trip so we're going to miami and we're flying first class and i'm flying first class up in the sky and we're just gonna treat ourselves really and we're gonna hire a car while we're out there so and my aunties love like they've been to miami together once and it's just I love Miami as a place, it's beautiful. So we we're gonna hire a car and like drive around like that part of Florida and all sorts of stuff and just book different hotels. So I'm really looking forward to it. Fingers crossed guys, pray for me that this can still happen. So I'm trying to do everything to boost my immune system as of right now. So um, luckily I'd done a food shop and I ordered, you can order like groceries and stuff on delivery, which is really good. Um, so I've got like loads of fruit and veg and I'm potentially thinking about making it, um, getting a juicer. So there's some stuff I want to order on Amazon. First of all, let me, let me, let me talk you through this, right? So I already decided yesterday that, um, I was going to like get some stuff in so I could like, you know, do cute stuff in, in isolation. First thing I did yesterday was I fake tanned. So I like shaved in the day and then fake tanned at night because I was just, you know, when you look in the mirror and you're just thinking, I just don't like, I just feel a bit butters. So I thought if I've just got my tan on, even if I'm staying in the house, like, I'll feel real cute and just, you know, nice about myself. So I did my fake tan last night um, and I've like washed it all off and moisturized my whole body. And I think I'm going to try, I just want to try to do my own individual eyelashes. I haven't worn individuals for fucking ages, but... I'm just gonna try and get some individuals and stick them on myself to see how they look. So I'm gonna order some Ardell ones, like little individual ones and then little like clusters, you know, like the little three in ones. So I'm gonna try them out and see how it looks. So I've got them ordered on Amazon. Um, I'm also gonna order <laughs> some new sex toys. So I've been seeing everyone on TikTok talk about this fucking rose. So I'm gonna buy the rose and also the Tracy's dog. Have we heard of this one? Anyway, let me show you. Also, I'm super into perfume at the moment, so I'm gonna order Rihanna's Rebel Fleur because apparently that's really nice. This is the rose, okay? And I'm gonna let, I basically did a TikTok saying I'm gonna let everyone know how it is. It's £18.88. Um, I have a lot of, I think I have four suction toys and I like them a lot. So I'm gonna see if this is any different to the ones I already have. I have my favorite toy of all time. Why am I tapping the screen so much? My favorite toy of all time is the Lalo Sona Cruise and that's an airflow toy. So we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> It's a good cheap alternative because the Lalo one is literally like £80, I think. Some new eyelash glue and then these are the lashes I'm going to get. So I've got like these ones. So they're like little individuals. Then I've got some like actual glue here. Um, and then these like little clusters. I've got some of these tweezers and then some more, more dramatic clusters. And then this is the juice that I think I'm going to buy. <laughs> so it's by... What's the brand called? I don't know, but... I'll have to show it you when it gets here, but it also, not only does it make juice, but it also makes like sorbet, like fruit sorbet. I um, mean, you can make like banana ice cream and stuff in it. I mean like out of bananas, nice cream, is that what they call it? And then also you can make nut milk in it. So I think it'll be good. I'm just worried about where it's gonna go on my countertop because I don't have much space. So it's gonna take up room. And then I'm also gonna order this Tracy's dog toy. My friend has one similar to this and she sent it to me and she was like, you need this. So this is what it looks like. I have wanted one of these for so long. One that's like a vibrator and a internal vibrator. But like, it's just, it usually doesn't work for me. Like rabbits, 
I don't get on that well with rabbits. Not that I hate them, but it's not a toy that I would choose because the positioning of the penetration and the vibrator doesn't match up with my vagina because I have like, <laughs> not to be like crude or anything, but my clit and my hole like aren't super close together. So it's like, it doesn't really work. But that one I'm hoping will work because it has a bit of a curve to it. And it's more like a G spot. I think that will actually sit nicely on my vulva so excited about that so i'm gonna buy that as well um yeah other than that what i'm gonna do today is it's already pretty much it's four, half past four now so it's gone dark already i've pretty much decided what i'm gonna do for new year's eve is i think i want to take some paracetamol because my headache is actually hurting so i'm gonna um do some goal planning tonight so like a recap of my 2021 like my goals for 2022 just have a proper like deep dive self-reflection evening try and make a vision board that sort of vibes i'm gonna film a separate video for that so that should already should be up so you can go and watch that if you want to um but i'm also gonna like order a curry and i might make some cocktails and stuff later which will be quite cute and just watch like a nice film and i have huge windows so i'm just gonna watch the fireworks outside my windows i'm lucky that i do have a balcony so i can like get some fresh air um so yeah i was about to say i'm excited i'm not excited about being in isolation but you know just gotta make the most the best of a bad situation but i am absolutely knackered that's like they're like the only kind of symptoms i've had so far like obviously a bit sniffly but like quite a bit of pressure on my on my head and just feeling tired that's all but yeah look at my hair oh my god I'm so happy with the health so I know I say this all the time but I washed it yesterday and I just let it air dry there's no product in this um but the health is just fabulous very proud of my hair journey you guys will know like if you watch all my videos like you'll know that what I do to my hair but people keep asking me for a hair routine so I should film that like an actual one dedicated just hair routine I'm gonna write that down because I know you guys want to see that Cool. gonna stay hydrated <sighs> what I'm gonna do right now is just reschedule my booster vax appointment get my ester for Miami um I might try on I think I'm gonna try on my dresses that I was supposed to wear on New Year's Eve because I want to see how they looked um but I'm actually gonna film a haul for you guys so you'll see them I'm gonna put them in a different video I've got like I bought quite a few things recently so I'm gonna do like a little collective haul so I'll show those dresses in that video which I've, I've done the whole youtube planning today guys let me show you this is today and this video you're watching will be up then and the haul should be i've been up before this video so the haul and the um the haul that i'm talking about and the 2022 goals video should already be up look at me trying to be pretty i'm just trying to be productive because i'm just thinking like if i can get all my january content bashed out in these next few days then it'll just make life easier. Hello everyone. Uh, uh, oh, 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 whoa. I've just tried on some of my clothes that I was gonna wear for New Year's Eve. Like I said, I'm gonna film with them tomorrow. Um, but, oh my God, the, the green jacket, the green furry jacket. Oh my God, that was beautiful. And in fact, let me go get it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it has like these clasps in it. They're like hooks, but they're hidden. So like when you can do it up and there's like no poppers or buttons. It's just, it's just pure luxury. I actually bought this with my ASOS vouchers. So when I like, sometimes I've returned stuff and it's gone past the return window. So I think with ASOS, you can actually return for three months, but after the first month when you return, you only get store credit. So I think I returned something after a month. So they give you store credit, which is fine because I love ASOS. Um, I bought this with my store credit. So even though I have paid for it, it's just months ago, it feels like I didn't pay for it because I paid for it in vouchers. So it's basically free. I'm gonna have a curry. So I ordered curry. I ordered way too much food, but that's fine because I'll eat it for the next couple of days. So let me show you what I got. Don't laugh at me for being a basic bitch, but I did get a chicken tikka masala. Um, I don't think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna eat that in, in a minute, so I don't know if I should open it. But you know how a chicken tikka masala looks? It's in there, but I don't dare move it. Chicken tikka masala. 
boiled rice for a change. I usually get mushroom rice, but I got boiled rice. Poppadoms. Garlic naan. Two chapatis. Onion bhajis, but I ate one. They look, they are so good. They look good and they taste good. Um, I haven't really said feast, because I'm not done. I also got a chicken chat. Chicken chat and then like, I, is this chapati that it, that, I like it when it comes with the chapati on the bottom and the chat on top. I don't think it is chapati because it's fried, isn't it? Unless it's like a fried chapati. I need to Google that, but I love it. Mm. I love a chicken chat. I'm gonna enjoy my Indian. Watch some TV. I'm thinking about doing goals and stuff, but doing my, what I was gonna do, but I might do that tomorrow. I kind of just feel like chilling out and doing nothing. And I deserve it. So, yeah, also I think I might make cocktails later. Just a couple. I don't know why I'm so happy. Like, I'm on my own on New Year's Eve. I don't know why I'm so happy. I just feel blessed. I don't know about everything that's happened this year. I don't know, this year was hard. This year was really hard. It was hard, but it was also, it had a lot of really, really amazing parts and I'm just grateful for my life. And although I'm sick right now, I'm grateful that I'm still in good health and grateful for everything that I have, man. Like, my, my life is it's beautiful. Even though there's some things that make you sad and you don't like, at the end of the day, there's always something to be grateful for. It's funny that I'm in this mood today because I've been feeling a bit meh for like a couple of weeks. I always go up and down, up and down, up and down. I'll go through stages where like for a month I'll be like really happy. The fucking tram is ruining my, my motivational speech. I'll go through stages where I feel really happy and then I'll go through stages where I feel like, not really sad, but just, just meh, just meh. But I'm really trying to get back into, I feel like when I was my happiest is when I really make an effort to look after myself like mentally spiritually emotionally everything so this morning for the first time in ages i did my morning routine so i have like a proper morning routine that i started doing in like september and it really helps so it's like i can do a video about it if you guys want but there's a freaking midget there. what are you doing so the routine basically consists of like waking up not not going on my phone basically get up make my bed go to the toilet brush my teeth pray um have a shower do my skincare um and then do my daily gratitude journal um deep breathing exercise it's like five deep breaths where you hold and then breathe out and then hold um and that's about it and like obviously having my breakfast and whatever but i really feel like that really helps mix and that all that's before touching your phone i really feel like that helps so much because I'm, I'm so keen keen i'm so prone to rolling over and grabbing my phone and typing straight away looking at my text and it's just too much for your brain to handle first thing in the morning i feel like it really sets the tone for your day so if you do something that's good for you setting the tone for your day it'll be a good day or even if it isn't a good day like you've still done that one thing for yourself in the morning anyway i'm rambling now my food's getting cold so see you later Oh fucking hell. I fucked it lads. I put the fucking egg yolk in there. Get that fucking yolk out of there. That's a slippery little sucker. Oh my god it's fucked. I'm pouring that out. I fucked it lads. One egg white. Lemon liqueur. Mmm, we can add some of you in. Resume. Stripes on my ass, so we cut this pussy figure. very strong um hold on it's not for me honey get some of that in there 
it's delicious. So that's fine. He will cry with you. But then you have a Christ who, after he cried, he came. But that's not the good part. The good part. From the pages of Haggai. Hello honey bunnies, um, it's actually, is it the 3rd of January? It's the 3rd of January, so I haven't vlogged in a couple days. Actually, I did vlog on the, on New Year's Day. I vlogged myself making this amazing soup. Oh my God, I'm gonna make it again, definitely. I'll try and put it in this vlog when I make it again. Basically, my camera started bugging out and I've realized my, I'm on my old, well, you know what? You can't tell, it doesn't matter. But my one of my cameras that I was using was making all my footage get corrupted. So I can't use that camera anymore. I lost some footage of me making soup and then yesterday I was recording the video and editing it all day. So I just literally... Guys, my fridge keeps shaking. I need to do something about this because it's weird. I was just sat there all day. I'm actually going to do a COVID test again because I told myself I'd do one on Monday just to see where we're at. Do you know what I mean? Um, I actually can do a test on tomorrow and wednesday and if they're both negative i'm let out of isolation so my mum sent me some covid tests this is different though <gasps> oh this is good because right i don't know if anyone else had this problem with the nhs sticks right remember the nhs lateral flow kit this is a flow flex covid kit i'm not sure why, they, why they've changed to this but i like this brand not me preferring certain lateral flow brands to other ones. What's the world come to? These tips are like a cotton bud and it's like a hard cotton bud tip. The NHS sticks are fuzzy. They're fuzzy and so when I put it on my nose it makes me sneeze and cough and splutter because it's fuzzy and it's itching my nose. Whereas these I don't half as much cough and splutter with. Okay, okay, so long, farewell, Avida saying goodbye. Oh, I think the liquid comes readily in these tubes as well. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We've really upgraded to the FlowFlex test. So anyway, I thought I'd do a test today um, just to see where we're at and then I'll do one tomorrow because I feel fine. Oh, I haven't even told you how I feel. Basically, yeah, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, like I was just, you know, the regular things like I've still got now a tiny bit of like a cough and a bit of phlegm and a bit of a snotty nose, right? But New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I had a headache all day. And I was really tired, like just exhausted. Um, but then that started clearing up on the evening of New Year's Day. And then yesterday, I literally felt fine. Just the little snotty nose. That's literally it. Anyway, let's do our test, girlies. Ah! Whoa. Oh, snotty. Disgusting. Now we wait. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. So, it's literally been a couple of minutes, but you can see that I'm still positive. Can you see the two? Yeah, you can see the two lines. I'm still positive. So, that's fine. If I don't test positive, I think you have to test, pos test negative two days in a row. Um, but if not, I can get out of isolation on Sunday. So, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to make a coffee and make my breakfast. And I'll show you. Okay, so I decided to make lunch because it's like 10 to 12. So I made lunch. It's just a stir fry from Tesco with teriyaki sauce and chicken. It looks so good. I love stir fry because it's so quick but really tasty. And we got the coffee on here. I'll put some milk in that. Have we done? I've just been um, doing some odds and sods. I watched a lot of Insecure. <laughs> um, I'm nearly finished season four now. I'm definitely going to finish the whole thing by the end of quarantine. Also, I had a phone call with my auntie. She also has COVID, so we were just chatting about stuff. But what I've been spending this afternoon doing is reorganising my skincare. I feel like my, my lens is dirty. I've been reorganising my skincare. This is what I use to house my skincare. Just from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. But I took all my skincare off. And I've just cleaned it a little bit and I've gone through and let me show you. 
So, this was some of the stuff I had on there. I made a separate pile for like things I didn't want anymore, things that I'm going to throw away, things I'm going to give to friends. But I'm keeping all this stuff. And then in here, I was going through this basket, which had loads of my PR stuff in that I got sent. And... So I'm going to transfer like the skincare stuff into the bathroom. Now I've got rid of some stuff. This is all stuff that's like brand new that I don't want or I know won't work for me that I'm going to give to friends, family or even plan a giveaway with it. And I've got more stuff down there for a giveaway as well. But what I'm going to do is just start putting all the skincare back on and hopefully I'll be a bit less cluttered and I'll actually get to use different stuff a lot more. I can't flip my screen up because I'm using my old camera and the screen's broke. So I'm just hoping that I'm in focus and that you can see me well because I can't see myself. So hopefully it's fine. Okay, so I'm done. I put this stuff on there. But I feel like I've got way more stuff than before. Like, I have too much stuff. I'm honestly considering getting, like, a shelving unit for here to put a lot of my skincare and stuff on because I have a lot of stuff. Like, I have all that stuff, all that stuff, all the stuff in these drawers. Like, they're all poor cleansers. I'm thinking about maybe getting some sort of shelf for here. Full of skincare, what do we think? This is one bougie fish finger sandwich and I only have bagels so fish fingers on bagels and <laughs> I don't have lettuce so I put spinach on it and tomato. It looks really good though. I hope there's not food on my face but I just want to tell you what I've been doing. I was like reorganising my skincare which I showed you but I just feel like I have so much stuff right and it's hard to like store it all so i have my ways of doing things right now but i've just sort of decided this evening that i want to buy a shelving unit for my bathroom so i was doing some looking online and i'm quite particular because like i don't want it to jut out too much and stuff like that anyway i've settled on this one so it's like a thin tall um shelving unit it has seven shelves um and it's quite tall and i've had my if you can see over there my measuring tape. Um, I've had my measuring tape out doing it in the in the bathroom. But I think this will be good because it won't come out too far. It's not too wide, but it's nice and tall. So that's good. And then I've basically ordered some of these crates. I have some of these already. These are from a shop called Utility. Um, but I have some of these crates already. Um, and I've got light blue ones, light yellow ones, and soft pink ones. And they're just like little mini crates that I'm going to put all my products in. I have a lot of body creams and stuff like that. On the bottom, I've got like feminine hygiene and shaving stuff. On the top, I've got hair products. And then I still have some stuff over there on my work. I don't know what you'd even call that. On the top near the mirror. And I'm also, as well, storing like my face masks in my office. And I want to be able to put my perfumes on this. So because it's like seven shelves, I think it's going to give me a lot of storage. I'm going to keep my little spinny skincare rack on the, on the side there. But yeah, I've decided to do that off the whim. <laughs> because then at least everything can be housed in the same place. Because it was making me anxious having all that stuff on the side. I was like, no. And I like everything of the same genre to be in the same place. Is that weird? Um... Anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy it. So, it's not too expensive. It's £90, so hopefully it won't be, like, shit quality. Yeah, so hopefully, I don't know when that's going to come. I need to actually buy it, but that's what I'm going to do. I really feel like having a little rejig around the house. I need to get some, like, prints or some sort of art. I need to get some sort of art for the living room, because I'm like, once I take my Christmas tree down, it's really going to be bare in there, and it'll make me sad. Like, I've, I'm very happy with how my bedroom looks. Like, can you see all the art in here? Like, there's art on the walls in my bedroom. I'm very happy with that. And my little fake plant on its little stand. I need a new dresser, though, because can you see? Like, this is broken because I have too many clothes. But this dresser has been fucked ever since I got it. I think... I think... What what company did I get it from? I don't want to say the wrong one and then I'm slating a company that did nothing to me. But they're actually a Preston-based company and they 
it's been absolutely shocking since I first got it. So I need a new dresser as well. So maybe I should have a look for that. Yeah. These, these are things I've just been putting off that I needed to do, so... Now we have the time in isolation. Let's do it. I reorganised, like, this whole... What is this called? A bookcase. So I reorganised this whole bookcase in my office, so it was messy as hell in here. But I've managed to, like, tidy it all up. And you didn't see the before of this, but it was kind of a mess, like, and this. So I have, like some fake tan and stuff down there and some hair stuff face masks and some eyeshadow palettes but it was a mess up here um i mean that this and that shouldn't really be there but when i get my new storage for the bathroom that'll all move um this is all stuff that i don't want so i'm gonna do a giveaway i think and all that stuff that i don't need either so it's all like a lot of it's brand new stuff that i know just won't work for my skin or whatever it might be or i have doubles of or you know sometimes i just get a lot so all this and all that so i might do like a couple giveaways or a few different winners and then see what my friends and family want i'm going to give you guys priority because usually they get priority and it's your guys's turn so yeah i reorganized all down here like it's my tech stuff and just some cameras and card games my books and journals and yeah i feel good about it my mum got me these ugg um earmuffs for christmas let me show you so she got me these ugg earmuffs for christmas and i really want to get like out of isolation so i can go on a walk and wear them because they're so cute oh my god i just <laughs> how cute are they i love them i can't wait to go outside with these earmuffs on i really wish i had the ugg telfar i might buy it just so it goes with the headphones headphones Earmuffs. I love my earmuffs. I love my there's matching mittens as well. My mum was like, Do you want the mittens? I was like, I just know I wouldn't wear them enough, so no mum. But now I'm kinda of wishing I got it. The mittens too. <sighs> I'm kinda of tired now. So I've just been doing a little bit of writing. Planning out excuse me. Planning out the next couple of days. Which I know sounds crazy, but I feel like I haven't had much structure and I just need to there's things I want to get accomplished before I get let out of isolation So I can actually get let out Potentially on Wednesday if I test negative tomorrow, which will be Tuesday and on Wednesday, but I don't know I'm not holding out hope for it I'm not sure if not then I'll be let out on Sunday um, Which will be day 10. So yeah, we'll just see if I test test negative i got test negative two days in a row back and start doing it from tomorrow so yeah also doing a home workout tomorrow with andy which will be funny i'm gonna move all my sofas and stuff so tomorrow's motive is just to clean the house clean the house um is that all i've put on there well i know that'll be a bit of a mammoth task so i'm gonna clean the house and also like just sort out stuff as well kind of like i've been doing today um which i know will probably take me all day um <laughs> then on wednesday i want to film um and do my little all body plan for 2022 sit down and write everything down and yeah proper focus on that thursday i'm gonna take my tree down on thursday and i'm also gonna de sort out my clothes like declutter my clothes um see what i want to sell and whatever and start putting stuff on depop because i've got a lot that i need to put on depop and I'm probably going to put some stuff in bags as well to give away to charity. Um, and then Friday, I'm going to film again. And then after that, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to be available. And hopefully I'll be out of isolation by then so I can see my friends. They're the vibes for right now. I don't know if it was fireworks or gunshots, but the bird is in the air. Day six of isolation. I'm still fucking positive. I'm still testing fucking positive. 
I'm not gonna be let out tomorrow. We can try again tomorrow, but I won't be out tomorrow. So today I've just done a little workout with Andy and then over FaceTime. And then I had some brunch, phoned my friend for a little bit. So we talked for like an hour, haven't spoke to him in a while. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna clean the house. How is it quarter to four already? I'm sleeping in so much, it's actually bad. Like I've been sleeping until like 11 every day. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tree down. I don't want to, but I don't have to. I'm gonna take my tree down, I'm gonna do a full deep clean of the house and maybe a bit of decluttering. Like I'm so happy with my office after yesterday. But yeah, that's the vibes, that's the plan for today. plug holes and in your toilet so I don't know why but this is just something that I do now also this is like my favorite thing ever carpet fresh oh my god it's so good I'm just about to head to bed but Clean the whole house today, which makes me real happy. Um, I should probably show you whilst it's looking nice and clean. So, I took over my tree, it's so sad, but I took the tree down. Everything's looking so nice. All tidy over here. I keep, ha I have these out because I keep meaning to make pineapple upside down cake, but yeah. Nice and tidy, I just need to take the recycling downstairs. And then I've put a wash on in here. We've got a wash on right now. This is like my junk room. Uh, well, it's not a junk room, it has a lot of clothes right now. All this is washing. I need to get better with washing, like in the new year. Um, I'm gonna have to start putting on a wash every day, like my mum would. Um, so yeah, I just need to do all that washing in the next few days. All this is clothes for hauls. That's for a Fabletics haul that I'm doing. This is some PLT stuff. Look how huge this box is. Like when it arrived, I was like, what the hell? It is huge, but I'm trying out H&M. Um, so that'll be in a video as well. Some ASOS stuff here, all for a little collective haul. I need to wash that bed in, hence why it's looking a bit weird right now. Yep, this bathroom is tidy too. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. My office clean like yesterday except from i'm gonna be sorting all this stuff out in the next in the next couple days look at the view man crazy now my tree is here because i'm actually when i'm allowed outside gonna take my tree to store it at all body but i'm gonna order from amazon like a big tree bag i don't know how this tree fit in here in the first place this was a wreath that was on my door 
um, but I have no clue how it even came in that. So I'm gonna get a tree bag and put it in there and then just store it at all body because I don't really have the space here. And then my bedroom, I'm gonna change my bed sheets tomorrow. They're just in the wash right now. And yeah, got all my candles. And the bathroom is also lovely and clean. So yeah, I'm gonna head to bed right now because I'm trying to go to bed earlier. It's quarter past 12. Um, I've been going to bed at like 2 a.m. like whilst I've been in quarantine and it's not good for me because I keep waking up at like 11 a.m. So I need to get my sleep schedule back on track if I wanna like act like a normal civilized human being when I get out of it. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow my plan is to film a video in the morning. I've got some like stuff I need to do on my computer, but I wanna film a video in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna be doing my all body plan for 2022, writing everything down and make, getting myself organized. And yeah, that's the vibes for tomorrow. Morning, my cherubs. Um, it's Wednesday, we're still positive. It's a faint line though. Um, a bit fainter than yesterday. So I'm praying tomorrow we might test negative. Oh my God, my camera battery is flashing. I just wanna show you some cute outfits. So I had a package coming from Misguided because I'm doing um, a little bit of work with them this month um, for their active wear. And I thought I'd show you. I'm just putting this outfit, it's so cute. By, by the way, this isn't sponsored. I'm just, um, I'm doing a sponsored post for them on Instagram and some stories, but this is gifted, but not sponsored. But I just thought I'd show you because I think it's really cute. Um, this is the first fit. Okay, the lighting is bad. This is the first fit. How cute is this? I love shorts that are this length. Like they're not too short, but they're still like a good length. And they have pockets. And the crop is the perfect length for me because it covers my little under boob pouch. Um, how adorable is this? For like just in the house or maybe when it gets a bit warmer in like spring coming into summer. Love this. I'm gonna try on the rest now. We also have the matching joggers. These are also hella cute and they're actually like a good length. Nice and long, cuffed at the bottom. Pockets. I like this. And then we have like a little green gym set. I'm excited for that one. Okay, and this is the workout set. I love the color, like this nice green. And it's making me look very snatched. Um, so these are the leggings. They have like misguided there. I can't tell if they're seen through or not. Should we do a little squat test? Okay. I am still right in front of all my window, so this will be a good test. That hurts because I did a workout yesterday. Ow, my legs are hurting. I need to do some stretches. Anyway, I like wearing these sets like nice and zipped up like this. This is cute. I love it.
said I be coolin' with cool again. Well, I told you I ain't one to fool them with. And I communicating, but I get that from my mama. It's a jungle of gorillas. Why you fuck with any corners? I'm a Zulu-Lation rapper. Get that hammer like that honor. Keep it moving for my partners. Ain't no hoopin' in me. Casa ain't no hoopin'. She just bouncing at the juices. But I'm fine to get the juice. And then I lost it. I put two of my deposit last week. But I made that cat we fact sheet. Hey, do not fall in love with that nigga rap sheet. Hey, you know I'm just out here really trying to pass me. Hey, your sister roll. Keep that ass nasty. Hey. So I made some, this is a bit random right, but I had these hearts of palm tins in my cupboard and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make something with them. So I've just made a little heart of palm tacos, um, so I just like fried it up in the pan with some onion and pepper and I've never had hearts of palm, really nice, I like it, minus the sour cream, this whole thing is vegan, I feel ve veggie or vegan. The hearts of palm are nice, I just seasoned it with like salt, pepper, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and some cayenne pepper. So it has like a little bit of a kick to it, but it's nice. And then I made some salsa. I hate chopping, so it's all very roughly chopped. But just tomato, avocado, red onion, lemon juice, salt, pepper, coriander. You know the vibes. I love that. And I'm happy that I'm using some like tins that I have in my cupboard because it's been sat there for a really long time. I forgot to update you guys on a couple of things. So yesterday I was informed that my Miami trip has been cancelled. Well, it's not been cancelled, it's been postponed. So basically what the gist was, because me and my auntie have both had COVID um, and we're just worried that doing the PCR test we're gonna come back as positive because you can still test positive for having COVID 90 days after you've had it because on the PCR, like, it shows up that it's in your system, but obviously you're not infectious anymore and you don't have it properly, do you know what I mean? There's no way of, like, using an NHS PCR and saying, like, look, I've had COVID, like, I've recovered from it. You have to do the test. We were gonna fly from Heathrow, so we would have had to go 24 hours before to Heathrow um and do it there and then fly and then if it was positive we couldn't have flown so it was like we would have had to go all the way to Heathrow and then test it positive probably who knows though you might test negative um but there's a chance that you can still test positive and done all that then we would have lost our holiday um and then plus my aunties are worried about if things are going to escalate um and we might have to uh, isolate when we get back and they're both self-employed well actually no that's a lie one of my aunties is a midwife so she works for the nhs but she like does bank shifts so if she doesn't work she doesn't get paid basically so um because she retired when my uncle got sick because she was his carer and then my other auntie is self-employed so she doesn't work she doesn't get paid so they didn't want to take the risk of potentially maybe having to go in a hotel when we got back or isolating at home and all that stuff so they basically managed to postpone the trip so we've postponed it to October, which is so far away. But at least it's something to look forward to. That's two of my holidays now that I've paid for that like I haven't been on. I have a trip to Morocco that I've paid for and haven't been on yet. Because it's been postponed so many times. And I also have a Miami trip now. But my I spoke to my mum and dad and my mum was like, well, I can go away with you. Like we could go away somewhere. So me and my mum might go away. She's been to the travel agents today and spoke to them because my mum needs a holiday as well like and we just want to go somewhere warm outside of england because fuck this weather right now so yeah that's what's happened but something also exciting has happened so i think i was telling you guys earlier in the week that i was thinking about getting a juicer and i've just been still sitting on it still ruminate ruminating ruminating i don't know what that word is um still thinking about it but i put on my instagram story last night i was like oh, i'm thinking about getting a juicer blah 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 and then my dad FaceTimed me. In 2020, the most random thing happened, right? So like one day this parcel just showed up um, at my mum and dad's work, addressed to me. And we were like, what is this? Opened it, there was no notes, there was nothing, like no message, no one had emailed me. There was no message in the box. We were like, what the hell? And inside was this machine called a Thermomix. Now, my dad was like, oh, I've heard of these. I know what this is because my parents work in hospitality. And this Thermomix is like, basically it's like a hundred kitch kitchen gadgets in one. It like does, it like chops food, it blends, it cooks. 
um it's like a rice cooker it's also um it sous vide it it i can't even list all the things that this thing does like you can make sauces in it soups in it risottos in it pasta in it you can steam vegetables you can make meat like you can do anything you could ever think of you can make yogurt in this thing ice cream bread like it needs bread dough for you so much shit, right but it was just so random because no one had told me that they were going to send this well the, the company didn't tell me they were sending it to me and also there was no note in the parcel now this machine is like a, a thousand pounds i'm not kidding this machine is so expensive and obviously i was like back in 2020 i was like what am i going to do with that like i've got no use for this <laughs> and i was like i didn't even take it out of the box because i was like what so we sort of, we sort of just sat there and we're thinking oh what we're we gonna do with it like blah, blah blah and we sort of forgot about it and then my dad called me last night and was like, oh, you know this Thermomix will probably make juice before you go buy in a juicer. Like, you could use this Thermomix. Just do a bit of research on it properly. And I was like, okay. So last night I started researching this Thermomix. And I'm not going to lie, I got down a deep, dark hole. I was up until like 2 a.m. looking at Thermomix recipes because I'm not going to lie, like it got me excited. And the people that have these machines, like there's like a cult following of these machines. And it's like a big thing and so i put it on my instagram and loads of people have been messaging me like oh my mum has one my auntie has one blah, blah blah and they're obsessed with it and so it's like yeah this is like my new thing like and i'm so excited now and it has like a touch screen i'll show you when it comes because what my dad has done he called me today and was like i've scheduled for the we got out the thermomix on a schedule for it to be delivered to your house tomorrow <laughs> So tomorrow we're gonna have this machine. I might try might try to start off easily. I might try and make some like cookies first. So it'll basically make you put everything in, it'll make the cookie dough for me. And then I just take it out and obviously bake it. It's absolutely wild. So there's a lot of things we can make. I've already gone through the website and like favorited stuff that I wanna make. So this is, I don't know why it's making me so happy. Like I'm just like, you know, you get a new gadget, a new toy. That's what I feel like is happening right now. But yeah. So I guess like thanks Thermomix for sending me this two years ago, but I, this is the first time I'm banging it out. So that should be funny and exciting tomorrow. Right now I'm just still doing a bit of work with my all body plan. And then I was gonna film today, but I think I might leave that until tomorrow. <sighs> I'm not gonna be out tomorrow. I realized as well, day 10 is not Sunday. My day 10 is Saturday, so Wednesday, today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, I can handle three more days, but I'm kind of getting sick of this now. I feel like if I wasn't me, I'd be going insane. Like, it's only because I've had things to do. Like, I've had to clean the house and I've had to, like, do work things. And I can keep myself busy because I can work from home. I feel like with other people, I feel like I am sending out the love to you guys because you must be going fucking crazy. But you also might live with people, I don't know, whereas I live on my own. So, I'm just here. Me and these four walls. It's five o'clock and it's really dark outside. But it was a beautiful day today. The weather, like it was just blue skies all day and it was beautiful and it made me happy. Um, So yeah, that's my plan right now. Stay here and do some work. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a bit sick of this quarantine. Like I just want to see someone and have a conversation. <laughs> Thank you.